What's going on everybody, Wild Lighting HBD here with another Clash of Clans new update video and today what we're going to be doing, it's a pretty exciting one, we're going to be getting our actually Archer Towers over on the main base, or one Archer Tower, actually specifically this Archer Tower, geared up. You now can gear up your Archer Towers in Clash of Clans in the main base and they look pretty beast, I gotta be honest with you, but there are some requirements to getting that and we're going to do that and talk about all that today. Oh, okay, also I saw a little like a little one. Whenever I see a plus one or like whenever like an event starts, I have to click it because I hate seeing that notification drives me insane well we're gonna be getting our geared up archer tower today we're gonna be sending this out against some of the clan people to see if they want to troll around with it and then we actually will be taking a defense uh, up near legends league because we only have 11 minutes left on our guard but first the requirements for getting yourself a geared up archer tower in clash of clans obviously it's gonna be a four million gold upgrade uh, you have to have at least a level 10 archer tower and then if you go over in here into your builder space you have to have at least a level 6 archer tower at least one level 6 archer tower so that you can gear up this bad boy in that main base so right now we have 846,000 gold it's 1.2 million to upgrade to level 6 so we're gonna go out and try to win some attacks I'm at 3814 I've been kind of like bouncing around 3800 testing new attacks so we're gonna go out right now attempt an attack and see if we can get some loot because as much as I want a gem right now we can we have the option of of farming our way to this loot and I'd much rather do that to be honest with you all right what's it gonna be right here we've got train on okay so this base looking pretty uh pretty solid yikes this is gonna be kind of a tougher one I want to go in with the ground but I it, this is this is like a hard one to attack with ground because Ooh, I think I'm gonna try ground attacking this base because uh, ah eee. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're gonna go in with the baby dragon minion spam this strategy still by the way a very very solid one And we're gonna be using it right here. So let's get the hmm, Battle machine on this wall. He'll break through this wall We're gonna deal with these builder builder hall troops the uh, the support troops And then we're gonna distract this archer tower and we're gonna go with all the baby dragons and whatnot on this side of the base So use his ability we get some baby dragons coming in behind coming in behind and then actually we're just gonna go all in right there and then spam in the minions as well so his other side of the base uh, this side very well protected by those archer towers so it's not even worth saving any minions for we're just gonna kind of throw them all in right here and hope they can get in and take out the majority of this base and hopefully get that crusher down actually before the battle machine gets to it oh not quite not quite oh that's gonna hurt uh, he's dead he's dead he's no all right well the battle machine <laughs> battle machines down but we are at 45%. We're on that Builder's Hall. That's going to go down. We just have to get this Roaster out of the way. Because uh, it's kind of going ham right now in our troops right there. That the Roaster, I definitely think, is a really, really cool defense. I love how just, like, flame... Like, that, that is sick. The fact that it just flamethrowers like that. Uh, definitely effective, though. Very effective. Okay, so 56%. We're going to grab the 2-star on this guy. And then that's going to be all she wrote with that raid. So, Trianon. He's still attacking. We can actually check with the new watch feature. Oh, psh, we don't even need to. We got a win right there. Awesome. We got a 59% one star. He went with all baby dragons and a level 10 battle machine. And that was not enough to do it. We are at 9... 100,600 and what 60 not why hey. we're now at 966,000 we've got seven minutes left on this okay actually let's use our I should have boosted the clock tower way long ago we're gonna boost the clock tower get all of our stuff back up go out do I think one more attack should do it I know maybe two more attacks and then as you can see in this base I do have 9.8 million so all the loot in this base by the way I always have to say this because not everyone is like an OG fan this base is farmed so like all the loot in this base none of it's gemmed uh, so that's all like legit just from attacking so high up in cups and this base <laughs> we gem a little bit on this space That's for sure now who is next we got Kai. Okay, so this base Ridiculously easy. I don't want to like toot my own horn, but we are gonna destroy this base uh, Always not that hard to do so I usually roll with this strategy and then we're just gonna go from the top and Basically maul this entire thing so we're gonna oh gosh and his mortar is down here Which is great because we don't have to worry about the mortar like interfering with the raid at the top of the base And it almost makes me want to use a different army strategy just because his mortars up top at the same time though Having the mortar on this corner is really easy because you can distract it with the um, Battle machine so this is a pretty actually not a bad layout. This one's gonna be a little bit tougher than usual when all else fails baby dragon minion is the absolute goat go to so let's um where should i actually we need to distract the roaster so we're gonna put the battle machine up top what he's gonna do he's gonna break through this wall he's gonna run in this b he's going to distract the roaster we're gonna spam in all the baby dragons and minions kind of along the top i'm gonna definitely focus this left side 
uh, just because it's away from these troops. Or maybe I should focus the right side because it's towards the troops, and the troops are going to mess with us either way. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, actually. So the battle machine should have gone in on the other side then. I was not thinking too well there. Okay, well, battle machine up top of the base. Roaster. Actually, Roaster's not even hitting him yet, so we're not going to use his ability. We're going to wait until that Roaster is focused on him, and then we're going to throw everything in. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm leaning right side. We're going to go right side. Okay. Here we go. Battle Machine's ability. Oh, he went this way. All right, interesting. Well, whatever. Okay, we'll go left side. <laughs> I'm cool with either. So here we go. Baby Dragon's going in right there. Let's get the minions in as well behind everything. I'm going to save a couple minions this time. We'll save three uh, just because there is kind of a lot we can do with them uh, percentage-wise, I hope, when it comes to the end of the raid. But as long as that roaster goes down, right? Nice. Okay, roaster's down, moving towards the center of this. The air defenses are definitely going ham along with this level 6 archer tower, which definitely, I do like how the level 6 archer tower looks for sure. Now, the question is, can we snipe anything? I'm going to put, oh god, okay, minion there just got mauled. I'm going to put two minions up top right here. Hopefully they can do something. Wow, I didn't even notice that the builder's hall almost didn't go down right there. So, luckily we grabbed that, and then the minions are going to clean up a lot more. We, there are only defenses left right now that can stop the three-star. That will stop the three-star, the Tesla, and the bomb defense. So, other than that, if we would have mauled through those guys, this would have been a three. This was a really, really high two-star. We definitely did good. Well, I guess it wasn't super high. We got a 65%. I should have saved the minions and put them in a different... Actually, that was... That was probably the best we could have done right there. So 65% two-star, definitely a solid attack. Did we lose? We did. We got 74% by the same exact strategy, just with higher levels. Gosh, GG. Okay, four minutes. Come on, come on. Four minutes left. Uh, wait, wait. I'm, oh, we we got to gem this. No, we don't. We do not have to gem this. Just kidding. We're going in. We're going to upgrade that before we go on defense. And our base is going to take the uh, geared up archer tower to the next level. By next level, I mean to the defensive level. Okay, so now we got this base um this is a tough see i want to say this is a tough one but at the same time if we can get this air defense down it's not going to be too hard to go in with the same exact i say i want to keep using the same strategy though that's the thing so actually we're going to push from the bottom of the base here and we're going to go ground we're going to attempt should we go witches i don't like using them just because they're not phenomenal but i could almost be down right now we're going to do yeah we'll use two we'll use two of them okay let's get Bomber in there, bomber in there, and then we're going to let those kind of do as much damage to those walls as they can before they get too close to that double cannon. And then I'm going to put in, let's see. Oh, no, we can wait. We can wait a second. Definitely still out of range of a lot of stuff. Okay, after this one goes down, we're going to go the uh, barbarians. The uh, giants, they're not barbarians. Ah, giants in right there. Battle machine as well. Let's get the two witches, and then we're going to start funneling some barbarians in because... I, I definitely we need to use these barbs, but we have to get this crusher down first that crusher has to go down And then I'm gonna spam the barbs in and then we should be good to basically wreck this base Yeah, let's do it. Okay all the barbs in right there. So we got all the barbs in we've got our witches in we are the night witches Sorry, we've got our battle machine that is kind of going down. Okay, there we go No, we're good on that health and we have some bombers as well doing a decent amount of work So there we go nice the builders all is down and we're still moving through it at 53% two star not doing horrible and that's probably where this raid's going to end right there at 56%. So, not bad. Uh, did no, We could have we could have sniped uh, maybe a little bit more buildings, but 56% two-star right there with a very mixed, interesting strategy. And let's see where this guy's at right now. He's got to be at 56% too. He might do it. Okay, so he's got the minion baby dragon strategy, but he's using this very strategically. Uh, and he's picking stuff apart. So, it's going to make it pretty hard for him to be able to get in and grab that builder's hall. Uh, he's gonna have to really go hard with these baby dragons and the minions. He did snipe down a lot of these buildings though So uh, I'm really curious to see if he's gonna be able to pull this off He does still have three baby dragons three minions and he's got his battle machine as well So if he pushes from the right side, he might be able to grab. Nope. He went this way. Okay, let's see No, he definitely won't be able to get it. That's not gonna happen. Okay, he's gonna spam in some baby dragons Actually, that was pretty good placement on the baby dragons and on the minions because aha the, the troops pull it all aside Okay Three baby dragons right there down in the middle. Uh, you know what? Maybe he, he might get it, actually, because those baby dragons taking those air defenses down, they're definitely doing damage, but we do have the bomb defense on them. He's got his battle machine in the middle. His battle machine actually is going to go untouched onto that builder's hall. He's going to grab... He's going to beat us right here. And simply because that battle... Wow. GG. That is a very impressive play right there. That was that was incredible. So this guy, props to this guy for taking me out. That was a really, really good raid. Wow, I don't even know if he tried to do that or if he just got lucky, but he's still going. 68%. Okay, 
Well, we're going to take the L here, that's for sure. All right, well, so before we get booted off the main base, because we did take that L, all right, we're going to come over here because we've got a minute left. So now it's time to upgrade. Oh, I forgot. We actually have to come in here, and we've got to upgrade one of our archer towers. So we'll upgrade this archer tower on the eh, on this side over to level 6. So it's going to be a one-day 1 1.2 million gold upgrade. That's going to be 390 gems to finish that. Nice, there we go. And it's going to be another 500 to finish that off completely. Archer tower level 6 in 3, 2, 1... Bam! There's our first ever maxed out archer tower, and we're now at zero gold, which is awesome. So I do definitely like how these look, and uh, that's it. Standing up at level six and then sitting down. So that looks dope. We now have a maxed out level six archer tower in this base, and if we go over here, remember that we can actually get our archer towers over to level 15. So we're not going to do that right now, but we will be gearing up this guy. We have 20 seconds left until defense. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to move that around. Oh, that just I can't share that in my clan now. <laughs> well, whatever. We got gear up building. Yes, special upgrade. Install a switch that can lower this archer tower to shoot at a much faster pace requires master builder we got it that is gonna be a four million gold upgrade and we now did get our boots so we've got to do this and then i'm gonna switch my base and then we're gonna go offline we're gonna take a defense with the new archer tower and see how it does when somebody attacks against it so it's four million gold down right there beautiful and it's only a thousand gems 999 gems to finish that off which means we can do that right now which i'm definitely down for so three two one Bam! There we go. That is... Hey, there we go. High gear. We got another achievement right there. And we do now have a level 14 geared archer tower, which looks sick. Now, let me come in here. I'm going to set this as the active base. I'm actually going to edit it because we do have the geared cannon. So, we're going to move this geared cannon out for the geared archer tower, which is... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do I... Can I see which one's geared? Where is he? There it is. Found it. Okay. <laughs> geared Archer Tower going to go right here. We're going to put it on the geared mode. So that's going to be in the middle of the base, defending everything with all of its might. And we do have the geared cannon as well, who will have uh, just chill at the top of the base, I guess. Okay. So now we're going to take a defense. Actually, would I be able to use an attack or is it going to? No. Okay. That's, that's fair enough. Going to take a defense and we'll be right back with the replay of our brand new geared Archer Tower. Oh, we're getting attacked. Okay. Here we go. Well, we're in. That took a minute. All right. So West... Got a minus six. I'm assuming he probably just went at the middle of the base. It looks like the uh, geared up archer tower was untouched. What happened here? You got Oh, we got a 70%. So I don't even know if our archer tower got activated during that entire thing. Let's see. Oh, wait. What? What happened? Why is the cannon there? I. That makes no sense. I'm really confused right now. You saw me change my base. There's, there's, it's literally changed. Let me see if I can challenge with the base. No, I can't. That's awesome. That is just beautiful. I go to my defense log. Ah, here we go. Okay, West one. I was about to say, I was like, what? Oh, there it is. That looks so good. Okay, awesome. Oh, we missed it. That was a... Here we go. What is he? He's going to lure that out, and then I'm assuming go from the top, and he's probably going to wipe his way down. So he did two-star our base, which is pretty good, considering this base is just difficult to two-star. Does he use any more troops? I'm assuming he probably initiates the attack right now. We'll speed this up a little bit. Uh, okay, he's going to go from the left side. Oh, he queen-walked it, too. Very interesting attack. He queen walked with Valks. Uh, you don't really see that happen a lot. So, GG to this guy for grabbing the two star. Okay, there's the poison spell down. He does have a maxed out queen. That is awesome. And a maxed out king. So, this guy, obviously, he is in the Mega Empire. And for you people who aren't like the OGs of the uh, top clan days, Mega has always been one of the top clans in the game. So, like, he's definitely uh, definitely amongst top players. You know what he's, I like how my Lava Puppet is just back here sniping down these healers. <laughs> GG. Okay, so he's going to go to the top with the Golem and with the King. Here come all the Bowlers. Wow, this is a very, very... Uh, it's just an intricate, strategic strategy. I, I definitely respect this. So he's going to go middle of the base. Now, this is where the Archer Tower... Oh, yeah, look at the Archer Tower is going ham right now. Oh, my gosh. That shoots so fast. Look at the Archer Tower, dude. It's freaking like raining down shots on him. Oh, that's sick. Okay, that is a really, really cool defense. Dang it. I might uh, I might go back just so I can see. Yeah, we're going to play this again. Wow, he barely took that town hall. Oh, just barely. Yikes. Okay, well, I'm going to watch that again to the point where the Archer Tower started shooting because that looks sick. Or we can see right now because he starts luring stuff out. Wow, it shoots so fast. Here we go. Right now, right now. That is insane. <laughs> Look at that. Just pew, 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 pew. That shoots so fast. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that is a cool defense. Definitely, I definitely do like... The geared up archer tower. I wish I could send it like against clan mates, but obviously it hasn't been a full day since our base changed around. And I accidentally moved this base. I moved. I freaking it was totally on accident. That should not have counted. Either way, that is what the geared up archer tower looks like in Clash of Clans, which is so sick. And actually, we have some more attacks we can do on this account. So let's try to get one more in and see what kind of damage we can put in against Ziggy right here. Ziggy 
with this base. See, it's like, I feel like this base should be easy to take out, but it definitely is not, like, whatsoever. This town hall, builder's hall, very protected on this. We're gonna go in, I'm gonna try something here. We're gonna go in with air, but I'm gonna attempt to take out a majority of the defenses so that when we go in with the battle machine, there shouldn't be much left, much left standing in our way. So, let's see how I can do against this. I'm gonna see if I can actually pull out these troops over here. I'm gonna drop a baby dragon. So I definitely want to get these guys down. So the baby dragon should do some work right there. Okay, now we're gonna get one on the corner and then let's see. Now we're just gonna go in. Okay, so baby dragon's in right here. We're gonna go all of the minions in on the side as well. And I basically just want to push this entire side of the base and get down as many defenses as possible so that we can put in the battle machine and he can basically just run through this base. I just want that crusher down. Uh, and we should be decent. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, so this is a very... This base is very geared up. Oh, we're getting smacked right now. I didn't even notice that. Okay, this isn't this isn't going well. This raid is definitely not going to end in our favor. That was what I like to call a horrible attack. Now, obviously, we're not going to be getting that Builder's Hall. So the best play possible here would be to drop in the Battle Machine on this side of the base and uh, have him just take out as much percentage as possible because he can go through quite a bit right here. And then once this Archer Tower is distracted by the Battle Machine, which it is now, we're going to drop two minions right there, which should be able to take out quite a bit as well. So as long as the Battle Machine stays somewhat alive, these two minions do have time to kind of go in and just put in the work right now. But at this, the moment the Battle Machine goes in and swings towards that Crusher, he's done. So that's why I'm saving his abilities so hardcore right now because right now we're going to use it and uh, he'll do as much damage as he can against the Crusher, but he'll go down right there, unfortunately. And then the minions will go down as well, and that's going to be all she wrote. We did squeeze that 53% out, though. Did we lose? We tied. Okay, I'll take that. Well, there's that. We're down to zero gold in this base. We're down to... Uh, 5.5 million in this base. Okay, that's still a lot. Definitely have a ton of farming to do on the main base because there are so many upgrades. Oh my gosh, like literally all of our Archer Towers, we now need to get to level 15. Still working on the Teslas, so we have to max those guys out. Cannons also now can go to level 15, so we are going to be more than occupied with farming on the main base. And then the second base, obviously, we have a ton to farm here because I will be gemming this up, but not like crazy. We're not going to gem to max this base. We're going to slowly farm it because it's not going to be too difficult to farm, I don't think at least. That was today's video. Now let's hop on over to today's common question of the day. Today's common question of the day comes from Warcam, and the question is, where do you think you would be if you didn't gem? And I'm going to answer this question, speaking of gems, <laughs> we got three right there, uh, because a lot of people are in the comments complaining about, like, my gemming and just me gemming this update and whatnot, and everyone's like, oh, I hate gemmers and stuff. It's like, okay, well, here's the thing about this base. This base is really, really fun, and I enjoy it, and it's more fun, obviously, I mean, this game is just more fun if you gem it, but this base especially is a lot better if you gem because, gem, gem, because the progression on it is just generally quicker than the main base. Uh, which I guess doesn't make sense to gem on it. But just being able to show you guys all the new stuff and how it works, that it's like, that's fun to me. That's that's what I enjoy with this game. Because again, I've been playing this game like four years. So I've uh, I've definitely sat down, I've grinded. I mean, I always say, I always say this space is farmed just because people have such a big problem with me gemming. So I've got to make sure you guys like this space right here. I mean, you can look at my gold grab right now. We'll just go check that. Oh, wait, wait, actually, let's claim this reward. 200 XP, I'll take it. My gold grab is at 1.3 billion right now. And my elixir is at 1.2 billion billion with a B. So like this base very farmed. I've always farmed this main one up. Uh, I have done quite a bit of gemming on it. I've spent a lot on this game mainly for like pushing and whatnot. Uh, I, I think I've actually spent more money pushing than I have farming but definitely have farmed a lot. Now this base right here is just very gemmed because this is like my for fun base so I'm not super serious about this when it comes to farming uh, and I'd rather gem it and just kind of show you guys all the new stuff instead of slowly taking my time and farming it because that's exactly what I'm doing with this main base. So where would I be without gemming? I my channel wouldn't be as big as it is because it's part of a youtuber's career i guess or at least with the clash of clans games you have to gem even with clash royale you've got to gem the legendary chests in this game you got to gem the updates so you can get out and show people what stuff looks like and how it works so i'm sorry if you guys are a little triggered for me gemming it's just like with this base it's kind of what i have to do and what i'm used to doing it's just how it goes in the clash of clans youtube world but that was today's comment question of the day again i apologize to anybody who's triggered for me gemming i'll try to gem less like this video i didn't gem too much so we'll try to do more of that but that was today's video hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like leave your comment question of the day down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video love you all peace out